All right, so we have the Predator Ghost here, and uh, it's got a lot of shaft, crankshaft play here. Um, I'm pretty sure I blew it up. It's definitely like at this point, something's wrong. It shouldn't be moving like that and knocking, which is probably why it won't stay running. And uh, officially at the end there, it started blowing a lot of white smoke and I was like, okay, so I don't know what what the, the cause was here. It probably only had is it like 40 or 50 miles on it. So like not a whole lot of miles, not too much going on. You gotta be torn apart. We gotta take everything off of it. So we're gonna take the exhaust off and we're gonna take this off here. Keep the carb and the intake for the carb because this is part of the kit that we got to go on here. Um, and then we'll pull the engine off. We're also gonna keep this pull start because this is for the other 212. We'll probably just throw the other 212 on here. And at the moment, the mini bike won't have an engine. So it doesn't really matter because the mini bike kind of got pushed to the side. Oh God damn, that was fucking hot in there. I can go there. All right, so after spilling all of the oil, we got it off of its little stand. We need to tear this off and then it's ready to be exchanged. Hopefully we can make that happen. Boom. All right, and like that, we got ourselves another predator baby, so for use. Ew, why is it all oily in here? Is that everything? I think that's everything. So, now we have two of the good carbs. Bada boom, bada bing. Connect and fill gas tank, add fuel stabilizer, add engine oil. So they do have like minor shaft play, even stock from the factory, but uh, not something I'm really too worried about. Yeah. The chili cheese fry. I overheard the waitress lady. She was like, uh, he didn't tip me too. I think they thought because I already ordered that I wasn't gonna tip the second lady. Bruh. I said to use some fuel treatment. I did get some fuel treatment stuff, but I don't know. I gotta use the gotta use the brain to do some math. One ounce per 2.5 gallons of gas. We only got like I say like 0.85 gallons. So gotta do some math. I also need to finish running the wires. This is like pulling off by hand, so I don't know if we can use it. We might not be able to use it, but we now have little on off switch we got to finish running it properly i did a little test on it it works i was trying to get the wire up through here and out this hole so that it could come out and look very nice and clean but 
I'm not having luck doing that. So it's not gonna end up looking super clean. Uh, I might try to wire those lights up into that too and just see if they work. Um, I think it'd be kind of hilarious. So that's what we're gonna we're gonna do. And then we're gonna go rip it. Hopefully uh, it's, it's supposed to rain. So we'll see what happens. Maybe we can just rip it in the rain. Fuck it. Now it's still reversed. It, that's fucking stupid. I don't understand that. I literally I rewired it so it'd be the opposite. See, it, it doesn't really matter. It shuts it on and off. Let's go for a little ride. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we don't have any lights. Oh, she's moving again. So there's that. She's back to ripping, baby. <laughs> oh, it's so fun. I'm so glad it's back to working. Yell that. I'm probably gonna wake the baby up. <sighs> I wish the lights would work. That's a little unfortunate, but. Alright, it's about to rain. We gotta get one good laugh in before it. Oh, it just throws dirt so well. Fuck the yard. Oh my god! Oh, I had to stand up. That was gonna fuck me if I didn't. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and the kill switch works. Isn't that a beautiful thing? I love it. Hey. Let's go. We're successful today. I just don't understand why it's reversed. Especially if I rewired it the other way. The logic isn't logicking. I'm gonna have to do something about this though, because that's clearly rubbing the wheel. I think I took it off on this side. No, I didn't. I'm gonna have to. Eh. I kind of want to do like a harness, like hook it up behind here. Each side have like a little harness. Yeet. Probably be the best option, but that'll probably do it for this video. We got a new ghost racing engine on we're still leaking gas we should definitely do something about the gas that's gonna be my next project i'm gonna buy a welder um i don't know if i'm gonna buy the harbor freight one or if i'm gonna buy one from menards uh they're both like similarly priced so it's kind of my goal is to get one of those and then what i want to do like i said in the past build do like a bar across here do a post up post up bar bar and then have the gas tank sitting here because it's right there next to everything and then obviously I'm not really too worried about the fuel return we'll probably just keep it the Naruto G fuel can and yeah well she's ripping she starts pretty swiftly and hopefully we don't have any issues uh, the dude did say <laughs> try to break it before next year you know at least in the beginning of the year next year and then get a new one you know say fuck it use your warranty so even if it's not broken so but 
to me it was a challenge of let's try to break it so see you all in the next one peace